Okay. Today I'm going to show um, the technique of pottery painting. Um, first, these are some of the blank wares that we have. This, uh, this is a container. This, uh, this is a container. It's, uh, looks, it's, it's, an, uh, it's an owl. And uh, you can put things in there. And you can notice that the shine is very shiny. And this is a gloss layer that's been fired to 1000 degrees to seal in the uh, ceramic pigment. So this is uh, weatherproof and it's dishwasher proof. And over here, I'm going to show you a few more other examples. This is a plate, and you can see that uh, it has a yellow background, has a bit of uh, slightly toned uh, petals, and you can see this uh, effects over here. This is made using the sponge, and there's a black outline around the flower. If you turn it around, you can see this is actually sponged. And of course, there is a uh, glossy layer to make this uh, functional and usable. This is another technique uh, focusing on the beautiful sponge technique. So this is actually three colors, uh, sponged with three colors. And if you look at the back, there's only one color using just black for the background. For the uh, This particular one here, you can look at the, uh, the tones. I think the quality of this work, um, it's uh, focused on the toning on the back as well as the very interesting rabbit here up front. At the back you can just uh, have a nice uh, solid color. This is also another idea and when you are you can notice here the rim is uh, quite special it has a color a peachy color that continues the background and you can see over here it's um, the tones are actually sponged from light to dark. First, the biscuit ware that we have, we must uh, just uh, ensure that it's free of any dust or debris. Just take a sponge to clean off, generally clean off any dust. Okay, these three colors gives you a sense of um, warmth and happiness. Okay, so if you want to make something really happy and sunny and uh, vibrant, you know, uh, hot and passionate, these are the colors to use. And uh, the other group of colors are what we call cool colors. That gives you a very cool feeling, very cold, very tranquil, uh, very peaceful sort of feel. So we have the blues, the greens. Okay, these are the colors to use. Okay, uh, to show a very peaceful sort of, uh, give a sort of very peaceful effect. Okay, so the pottery painting, we will have to come up with an idea. You can sketch the idea onto your canvas. In this case, my canvas is tau. Okay, um, when you're going to blend a lighter color onto the subject, uh, it's good to have a spray hanging around, standing by, because you want to keep the work a little bit more on a wet side. Okay, not to have it uh, too dry. So first thing is, we want to do, I'm going to blend, have the like legs uh, dark red and then followed by a lighter center. So we can do one more layer. This is like the third layer. So very quickly just to apply the darker red again. And then just spray one time. See? Just to keep it a little bit on the wet side. And we can pick up the orange and then okay, place orange in the center and then come back to the red and the red we want to start from the outside and then blend into the orange We blend wet on wet. See, move in, use the red brush to move into the orange. Make sure we even up the glaze. Okay, we can do one more time. 
put the orange down okay and then pick up the red and then blend from the dark the red area okay into the orange it's basically a wet on wet technique okay very very gently stroke on the onto the substrate onto the towel okay now we even up the glaze in the center you see two tone over there okay after this is done you may want to work on the other areas so i'm going to use a slightly darker green green here Okay, and even out the color. Okay, make sure it's not droppy. Okay, followed by another one here. Okay, followed by another one here. Okay, apply, then even out. Apply. Okay. okay now we're going to look at the stencils you can look at this this is especially cut by a computer and if you look at it at an angle you can see what it is you can see triangles here triangle so basically it's a triangle shape so I'm going to just draw it so you can see where it's been cut it's been cut here and here so basically for this uh, particular starfish I'm going to have, I want to stencil a uh, triangle in there so I don't want it to be so big so I can use my cutter to cut further okay the triangle that looks like an A so I'm gonna cut it here like that okay of course if you are not very confident you can uh, draw it out with a marker and cut it out okay so I've kind of cut out a A on this uh, sticker paper and uh, can you see that? Okay, I'm going to just use some marker to show you where I've cut okay and I want to censor the A so if you want to censor the A you need to remove the A let's use some a knife okay remove the egg right and um, we're going to I'm going to cut this out this will be the sensor for my starfish this into here and notice there's a little bit still left on my stencil paper so just try to pick it up like that paste onto here okay so for this particular bit I'm going to stencil use a sponge to sponge in the darker color on the egg so I'm going to use a little bit of black oh black like that black blue okay even it out make sure it's quite even I take a sponge okay stencil and do it you find that it's a bit um, too faint you know for the background you can always add on some decorative detail specs of red if you want and then just use the pen knife when it's done the pen knife and lift it off you can also 
big off the side here. Inside. They are really nice. Professional looking A. Yeah, if you uh, accidentally stain. looking uh, piece of work.
Okay. Um, this is another way of uh, making um, making your life easier for those who find that it's very hard to you know draw the subject and paint around it and then stencil around it. Uh, to draw the subject and then stencil around it, uh, being afraid that the color will go into the subject here, the starfish there. You can make a stencil. You simply just cut this sticker from a sheet of vinyl sticker, place it in the center. So this becomes a mask. Okay, it prevents the glaze from getting into your center part. So to start with um, the background, we want to first apply the color. So in this case, I'm going to use a dark red and then I'm going to stencil uh, sponge on a orangey lighter color lighter orangey color the thing you do is to pick up the paint stir it make sure it is creamy consistency okay remove the excess and then simply apply onto onto the towel okay after we've applied we want to even out the color okay apply one round then go back and even out the glaze see make sure that it's as flat as possible there isn't any blobs because this glaze is made of uh, has some clay in it so we don't want a block of clay you know you can just use a finger if you see one block there do load some glaze when we load we want to remove the excess and then apply very gently even an even coat. Okay, and even it out. Okay, while I'm doing this, I've decided to show you how to blend. So over here, I'm gonna have a light color. Okay, you can coat there. And then followed by a lighter color. I'm going to start from the opposite side, which is here, and we blend into the red. Okay, make sure you even it out. Okay, no blobs. If you see a dot of clay, use your finger to even it out. Okay, you can do one more round. We start with the red. Okay, opposite side here. You know what the color? Come into the orange. Now oh, I've stopped three quarter way here. Yeah? We'll go back to the red and even out the glaze. Make sure there's no spots at all. No lumps or anything coming out from the surface. It has to be as flat as possible. Next we use the orange, we start from the opposite end and then we blend into the center part. Okay, then we go back, go back to the orange part and then even up. Oh, isn't it great? Wait for a little while to let it dry and I'm going to introduce uh, some sponging, sponge effects using blue. First thing we want to do is to prepare the color for sponging. So we use a flat surface, like a cover of a container. And we pick up the pick up the glue and just have a very even layer. Okay, not too much. Even out. Okay, something like that. And I'm uh, gonna test, uh, test my sponge. Look at which part you want to use. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit, okay, and test on the newspaper. Just test and see if this is what you like. Yeah, this is good for me. So we can work on your piece now. Okay. Let's have a little bit of sponge effect. Yeah. 
You can also sponge on the edges, it gives it a nice rustic look. Okay, pick up some more. Okay, what is that? So, when it's dry, you can use a sharp, something sharp. Lift the sensor off. Mm, have a really nice shape. Okay. What we want to do now, we can paint the inside. Uh, anything you want. 